Tolerancing is the process of looking at the manufacturing tolerances that will be applied when the lens is made and seeing what kind of degradation of performance will happen. In order to tolerance, we must do a couple of things. First of all, we want to take off any of these variables. So I'll just remove them. And also we want to remove any solves so that the lens doesn't automatically update when we tolerance. Then we'll go into the tolerancing and I will open up the tolerancing wizard and I will tell the tolerancing wizard that I want to tolerance for this range of surface tolerances, this range of element tilt and decensors and this range of index tolerances and Optic Studio will then build me that set of tolerances which I can then go on and edit by hand if I want to make it more sp uh, specific. I then call the tolerancing tool and probably the most important thing I must tell it is what criterion I want. And I'm going to tell it I want RMS spot radius with an adjustment of a sampling of three. And I'm going to tell it to optimize this back focal distance to retain best focus. And I'll only do like one cycle of optimization. And I'll just let this fire off. And I get this report and what, Z what Optic Studio is doing here is it's going through each tolerance in turn. It's looking at the RMS spot radius in millimetres before we start do making any changes. It goes through each tolerance in turn and adjusts the compensators to see what changes occur, looking at each one individually. It gives me the worst tolerances and you can see these are degrading us to nine microns from our eight microns start. It gives me an estimate of the performance change and then it runs what we call Monte Carlo values where it goes through every tolerance uh, together. So it builds in this case 20 different designs with everything uh, intolerance at the same time and then we get to see that the the best we get is very similar to the nominal the worst we get uh, is an 11 micron uh, value